Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. David and I are leaving Paris right now. We are ending another trip with EF Ultimate Break. And as always today, I'm going to be doing a trip review, answering all the questions that you guys have asked me, just doing kind of an updated q and I guess, because after I post these trips, I usually get a lot of questions. It is 5.54 a.m. Paris time right now, so it means that it is almost midnight back home, and we're gonna have a very, very long travel day. So one of the first questions that I'm always asked with EF trips is how transportation works, how you get to and from the airport, how you make sure that you don't get lost. EF gets you a bus. At least every time for me, I've gotten a bus to get from the last place to the airport. From the airport this time, we met up with the group in the airport, but we all kind of like broke off into twos and threes and fours to take different taxis instead of taking a bus because we were really riding the metro the whole time instead of being on a tour bus. Every other trip that I've had, we've had our own tour bus for the whole time and that's how we get from place to place. But for here, it was kind of on the metro. You get your own card and you can go where you want. It's not like you have to be on the bus to go somewhere. So that's how transportation has worked for the past three trips that I've been on. Just because I'm standing here, I'm just gonna say this video is not sponsored. EF is not paying me to do this. They don't ask me to do this, but because of my other two videos and my reach of people I've had with this, I've referred enough people to them that enough people have watched my videos and booked a trip by emailing me that this trip for me was free. David still paid for like half of his trip, but this trip was free for me. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, if something doesn't go according to plan or if I don't like anything, I'll tell you. But, you know, this is my honest opinion, especially because I don't have to do this. It's not work, even if it like was. Um, I would still tell you guys. So, yeah. That being said, if you guys do want $100 off your first trip with EF, let me know. I have my email linked in the description box below and you guys can send me an email and then I will get you $100 off your trip. Just email me. Oh. <laughs> We're through security. Our transfer bus took us to the wrong terminal. But it was fine because I did not mind the exercise at all. It took forever to freaking switch. Like a 40 minute walk once we figured out everything. The problem is a lot of people ask me about flights. With EF, if you let them book your flight for you, they only use like big airlines. So like Delta, United, American, stuff like that it's not like little airlines like frontier or anything like that so the problem with that I, there's no real problem with that actually um, it's actually kind of nice however Delta doesn't have like their message to me was that they don't have like a station here so we like do our like checking our bags and checking our passport and checking in all of that through Air France and that whole process was just really confusing because there are no Delta signs. Air France is huge here and there was just so much going on. So that kind of tripped us up a bit, but all is well. We're at our gate here. But they get you to the airport like three hours early. Yeah, you go so, in groups. So like, even with us taking it to kind of do stuff, our, we're at our gate and our flight doesn't leave for another two and a half hours. Yeah, so it took a long time to get through Perfectly fine. Like my, everything. My um, but since we do the like group transfers, like everyone before a certain time has to get to the airport with the first group and then the second group leaves later, if that makes sense. So like we left at 6 a.m. because if we would have left at the next time, we wouldn't have made it in time if we hit traffic. So that is that. 
um, with the bags. I've done EF trips three times and two out of the three times my checked bag was included, but the second time it was not included and I had to pay for that. Um, if it helps, I had to pay with United and I've flown Delta and I can't remember the first time. I think the first time was also Delta, but. Delta was really nice. Yeah, Delta United, was really nice on the way here. I'm not gonna lie to you, whether it's been through EF or whether it's been on my own, I've never had a smooth ride with United. Same. I've always had an issue in some way, shape, or form, but Delta, at least on the way here, we had a good time. On the way back, I'm planning to have a good time. Yeah, so I would honestly, like, I don't know if you'll get a check bag or not. Just go on once you get your confirmation number and stuff. It's about a month before. Go onto the website, uh, your airline's website, and check because your airline's going to be the one who makes that decision, not EF. And, and what our tour director said here is that I think EF gives you the opportunity to purchase your own flights instead of going through them through flights. Oh, yeah, so do. if you want to do something cheaper, you um, and you can find something cheaper and you have the time that you want to just kind of book your own flight instead of going through what they offer, um, that's something you can do so you can kind of do what you want. And if you don't like certain airlines and they recommend you, they're going to book you through certain airlines, you can say, nah, I'm just going to book my own flight and then they do everything else for you except for the flights. But they'll still help you get to the airport for your flight. So, all is good. I will say though, booking through them uh, is very nice. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to think about it. Very easy. And then if you get the trip insurance, which I 100% recommend, don't comment down below and say, would you get the trip insurance? The answer is yes. And I'm if you don't do it, it I'm just going to give you this. Um, if you guys missed my last review, our flights were completely canceled on our way there. And if you want to know how all of that worked out with getting a claim through insurance with EF and then getting new flights, I will link that review video up here. But we are just gonna hang out. I think we're gonna try to find some macaroons to bring back home. And let me see if I can find any more little questions. We'll go through this list and get back to you guys here soon. All right, so we just bought some macaroons. Oh my gosh, they look so yummy. First of all, they were literally made this morning. It's January 31st, so they're gonna be so fresh and delicious. We also got like a little booklet about like the flavors and stuff so that we can tell people what flavors we got. And then the best part about it all, here they are, so delicious looking. So we got caramel, caramel, chocolate, two vanillas. Um, Not a caramel. No, I said we got two caramels. Coffee. Oh, so caramel, caramel, chocolate. Rose. Uh, rose, vanilla, vanilla, coffee, and raspberry. All right, so I'm just gonna go through and answer some more of these while we're sitting here. Um, a lot of people ask what to pack. So we went to London and Paris in January. Quite chilly, quite rainy. I did do a whole packing video. I will link that up here. I'm glad that I packed a hat, scarf, gloves. I should have packed a travel sized umbrella. I did not, like I didn't have one. So, you know, I am very glad that I packed like knit sweaters with um, a combo of knit sweaters. And then I just packed like one, like long sleeve thin shirt and then I could use that under any sweater that I had to like make the layers because I didn't really like wearing a coat when we were in London because we we're on and off the metro and I was sweating on the metro and then I'd get off the metro and it would just be like freezing cold because then I my sweat would be like cold and it was just a mess so I would say knit sweaters are a huge yes this is just a me thing but my jeans since I wear like skinny jeggings they don't go all the way down to my ankle so I liked having like longer socks so that I didn't have like my skin in my boots but that's a personal thing I guess I get a lot of questions on how much money to bring EF has a recommended like they budget like they like recommend for you to bring 80 to 100 dollars in cash per day in the local currency i personally don't think that you need that much but i'm not one to buy souvenirs or go out and buy a lot of things our tour director this time said that she personally did not think that that was enough and they should up the recommended amount but i mean a lot of places that you go accept card 
some places don't so like look into that london accepted card more than paris did we didn't use cards at all when we were here we brought enough cash but it all depends on your budget and what kind of spender you are if you're the type of person who goes out and like gets every lunch and dinner you also get a drink and dessert and then you're buying souvenirs your budget needs to be higher than the people who are not doing that so you just need to like think about what you want before you go you know i will say that if you guys are just watching this a lot of people just search ef ultimate break review and they don't watch the other videos of the trip if you want to see what the hotels look like or the hostels look like watch the other videos part of this like trip that I went on I went through and gave you a tour every time we switched to a new place to stay and I gave you an in-depth review David and I paid for the upgrade so it's what it looks like if you have an upgrade for just two people I was told that this time that they try to put you in a hotel before a hostel right yes a hotel before a hostel just to start the trip off like nicer again this time I thought our hostel was nicer than our hotel so it just depends on where you're going. I've been to Ireland with EF, Costa Rica with EF, London, and Paris with EF. I've done all of those like room tours, all the places that we've stayed. I've done a video tour of all of them. Just go back through and watch each of the videos in the playlist from those. I will link them back down below. Stop asking me what it looks like, guys. <laughs> I already showed you just go back through and watch the whole playlist of videos and then if you have any more questions feel free to message me on Instagram I get a lot of questions all the time about is making friends hard or easy I think that making friends is very easy on EF trips you're all kind of dumped at the airport you don't know where you are the only people that you can like contact who are in your time zone now are the people in your whatsapp group you get on there and you're like hey where is everyone like can we meet up and then boom you just start talking and it's easy to make friends typically what's happened with me is that it's been easiest to stay in like a little close-knit group of friends with the same people that you meet at the airport for your first transfer that's what it's been like for us room upgrades after a trip of having a room upgrade would i recommend just having like doing the room upgrade if you go with your significant other absolutely best money investment ever Ugh, wait okay there we go best money investment ever absolutely 100 percent recommend the people who got single room said that they also recommended that for this trip as well it's nice to have a place to go back and just relax on your own however i also liked rooming with people especially in ireland when i went by myself because it was a great way for me to make friends and interact with people and bond with everyone and that's what i needed when i went by myself if i was going by myself i personally would not pay for a room upgrade but that's just me so i have a few more questions on here but i'm gonna wait a little bit because i can't just answer all the questions early in the video you know so hopefully this time goes by quickly and we get home safe and sound it is now 8 21 a.m in Paris and it is 2 21 a.m. at home so we'll see you guys soon guys I was not even kidding before so this is the whole airport that's like in blue and this is the whole city of Paris is that not freaking crazy like that's insane to me wow plane david got stopped for an extra security and had to take everything out of his bag and get his hands swabbed and all sorts of stuff and then they told me i wasn't allowed to sit there or stand there and wait for him and then they're just yelling at us in french <laughs> i'm ready to go home see our dog but we're both on the plane now so that's great. Hopefully this goes by fast. We do also have a direct flight. We have no layovers or anything. So bless. we only have to fly on one plane today. Until we have landed safely in Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky. Landed Cincinnati, that sounds so great. We'll see you guys back in Ohio.
All right, guys, we are now officially back and landed in Cincinnati. We're off the plane. We've just not had very good luck today with like going through security and getting our stuff like extra searched or whatever. So, you know what? It's just been a day. We're ready to be home with our dog. But I think the last few questions that I have are excursions. So if you go back through and watch the daily vlogs, you guys will see all the excursion options that we had and what it was like and what we did and didn't do. But long story short, we did do the London Eye and River Cruise. Recommend the London Eye. Didn't like the River Cruise, but that's because I was allergic to the food and I couldn't eat it. Um, we liked the bar crawl. That was really fun. Um, we did not do Versailles. The River Cruise would be better if it wasn't raining. River Cruise would have also been better if it wasn't raining and if it was in the daytime, but they lump it together with the London Eye, so like, the London Eye was amazing. I'd recommend that by far. We also did not do the Moulin Rouge, um, but we also added just on our own, not through EF, photos with a photographer in Paris. 10 out of 10 would absolutely recommend that. And then going to see the catacombs in Paris also, and would also recommend going to see that even though that wasn't included. So you guys can go back there and watch the daily vlogs if you want to know how like those went, what it was like, what we saw, all of that. And then the last question that I have is would we recommend an EF trip for like a honeymoon? It's just, this was a few weeks after the wedding. So like, this is what we did. We travel all the time. I feel like a lot of people go above and beyond for honeymoons because that's the last time they're gonna travel for the next like 30 years or till their like 25 year wedding anniversary. And um, that's just not the case with us. We're too big of travelers. Like we already have other trips planned. But when it comes down to it, David, would you recommend it as a honeymoon? No. No, absolutely freaking not. The trip. The it was only reason fun. we did the trip for a honeymoon is because of the price. Yeah, because it was free for me. Basically, but otherwise, if you like being around a group of people, do it for a honeymoon. If you want to be by yourself, like most people want to do on a honeymoon, don't do it for a honeymoon. Still would absolutely recommend the trip all together because it's awesome. Just as a honeymoon in particular, probably not. Yeah, um, I agree. You can get a lot of alone time if you want. A lot of the things are optional. This particular London and Paris trip had a lot of free time. David and I live together. I, in my mind, we've been married since our elopement, so we've been married for like seven months now, and like we live together, we spend a lot of time together, and we're just social, so when there's an option to hang out with a lot of people, like we're just social people, we're gonna do that. We're not gonna veer off from the group and just do go explore on our own or anything. Yeah, there were like some that. couples on the trip which who did that, which by all means do it if you want to. But yeah, so we're just not can. that kind of people. We're just not those kind of people. We're like but hanging out with others when they're there. If I could do like a dream honeymoon, it would be like relaxing on a beach because we absolutely never ever do that and I think that would just be really nice. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, but I've changed my mind after I've gone through the wedding and working and all sorts of stuff. I would like a relaxing, nice vacation, and I'd like to take my dog and find a dog friendly hotel. <laughs> but um, this was fun. I had a great time with my official legal husband. We're ready to go home and see our dog. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Remember to let me know if you would like $100 off your EF trip. My email is down below. And subscribe to my channel. Today's video is over. But if you guys want to see us reuniting with our dog because we miss him so much and we're both probably going to cry to see him, keep watching. Hey, shy girl. How you doing? Do you remember that? <laughs> Little man. Hey, Hi, baby. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 Hey, shy girl. You're not even excited to see me because shy was here. <laughs> no. Oh, baby. Shy love. <laughs>